Originally, I applied for a surf grant for uh, a project that was entitled Photography, Botany, and Women. I knew I wanted to incorporate women and uh, plants and flowers into a photograph. I wasn't sure exactly how yet, um, but I went to the Hunt Institute in the beginning of the summer to do some research. There happened to be a huge exhibit called Flora's Lexicon, which was on the language of flowers and um, I got really inspired by it um, and I decided that I wanted to concentrate on um, a project that focused on Victorian culture. I decided that I was going to create dresses out of various flowers um, to create a modern language of flowers book. I realized that biological photography was something I was really interested in as well. So I decided that I wanted to find a way with my surf grant to connect portraits of women, portraiture, with biology and more scientific ways of image making. I think that getting to spend an entire summer developing this original idea, and I even tried to develop an original process, um, it really um, inspired me for the future and helped me understand the importance of making um, making contributions to my field. My advisor this summer is Patricia Morides, who um, is a faculty member in the School of Art. And Patricia definitely helped me this summer by pushing me to do things that I wouldn't ordinarily do or didn't want to do. It definitely taught me that research is um, a process and it's not something that can be done in a week, but it's something that can be done um, over an expanded period of time. And it's definitely taught me personally more about not only biology, but also um, who I am as an artist. When I present at Meeting of the Minds, um, I'm hoping just to show uh, that art research is possible and that um, photography and art are things that you can research. So over the past year, I've been doing a lot of work on the layout of my presentation in book form. I've been working a lot on perfecting the images that I created over the summer, as well as working on layout and uh, creating some new images as well. As I continued through the project, I'd walk away from pieces and then come back and realize there it needed to be changed or um, notice something small that didn't bother me before, but now it started to bother me. So I think um, my project really needed a year of completion, uh, for completion. Next week at Medina Mines, I'll have about 10 printed pieces, and then I'll have my book on display for people to read. I'm excited to, to be able to present my project, talk with people about my project, and also for people to see it um, in book form, to be able to turn pages and read a little bit about what I learned. There's a lot of people that have been stopping by and asking me about the project. It's really nice to have like visual components from the book and then the actual book as well um, because people are able to see it larger and then they can actually feel the pages and turn through. Um, and I'm having a lot of fun explaining my project. People seem to be pretty interested in it and uh, they really like hearing about the process, which I enjoy explaining too. A lot of people have been suggesting to me that I explore uh, contacting publishers and maybe trying to see if I can get it beyond self-publishing, which I think might be a good idea.